Hello, Linda here. Have you ever watched a film or read a script and thought, this is really well written, but I don't see the point. It's getting boring. We seem to be stuck in one spot. What's happened here is that the writer's lost focus. As a writer, it's really easy to let characters and stories run away with you. That, that comes with the territory. The problem is that films lose pace very quickly when nothing seems to be happening on the screen and audiences lose patience very quickly. And you know, I mean, from their point of view, if nothing's happening, why should they keep watching? I mean, films can be slow, but they must move. All right, here's some help. Every scene has to be useful, and by that I mean it has to take the characters or the story or both further. So when you're creating storylines, remember that the story is there to transmit the ideas you want it to transmit. You control the story. The story does not control you. So as you're planning your plot lines, think about the kind of character changes that you want to happen on the film. Then think of what events would cause those events. What could happen to make that person change? Think about that. Focus itself. Now ask yourself calmly and objectively without feeling you're a bad writer this. At the end of the film, will the audience have had the experience that I wanted them to have? Just ask that. If the film is serious, you ask yourself, will the audience understand the ideas I want to show in this film? If the film is a, simply a comedy, just for fun, without any serious ideas, which is completely okay, we, we all love a good comedy, you ask yourself, is the film funny enough to satisfy the audience? Now, I stress here, you have to stay calm and objective when you ask these questions. Why? <laughs> because we writers are very good at punishing ourselves. So don't let checking that your story is doing what you want it to do become an exercise in self-hate, in self-criticism. It's simply a double check, okay? Simply a double check, you've got everything in place. I mean, as you do in your everyday life. For example, when you're about to leave on a journey, you double check that you've packed everything. And if you discover that you've left your toothbrush out, you put your toothbrush in. You don't go into paroxysms of agony of thinking you're a terrible person because you left out the toothbrush, you put the toothbrush in. Now, so here's the thing. Don't get into a deep depression of feeling that you're useless and all the rest of this. These reminders I give are simple double checks because what writers do is hard. And you know what? If you're finding it hard, it's because it's hard. That's why there aren't a million squilly and willy and brilliant writers out there. You forget things, you know? You'll make mistakes. Expect that. The trick is to remind yourself to check for mistakes and omissions. Okay, bye for now. Thanks.